Many UK government employees have become accustomed to working from home. But parts of the government want to see more officials and employees in the offices of the ministries again. Employee representatives consider this unnecessary, and that for good reason. The Ministry of Education scores the worst. Just a quarter of the officials and staff were present at the UK Department's office on Great Smith Street in the heart of Westminster during the first week of April. That was only a minimal increase from February when the corona restrictions and the recommendation to work from home had only just fallen. Jacob Rees-Mogg has compiled a complete list of the ministries and their attendance rates in order to put pressure on his fellow ministers to finally fill up the public offices again. Minister Rees-Mogg is in Boris Johnson's cabinet responsible for government efficiency. <laughs> the Ministry of Labour, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Finance and Customs and the Ministry of Environment and Food also rank lower. Up to a third of the employees were there at their desks. The average attendance rate is now 44% thanks to frontrunners like the Department of International Trade, the Department of Health and uh, Defense and the Cabinet Office, which is, uh, by the way, for my German view, is the German equivalent to the Chancellery. More than two-thirds of the employees are there again in person at the London locations. Rees-Mogg's verdict was far from good enough. Now that we are learning to live with COVID and all restrictions have been lifted, we must continue to accelerate the return of public servants to office buildings to realize the benefits of working together face to face and the benefits of, to the economy as a whole, is what he wrote. He made a clear announcement to the employees in the ministries that they should return to the office quickly. Considerable progress is still needed, according to Rees-Mogg. In January, Great Britain lifted the recommendation to work at home to reduce the spread of corona. All restrictions have now been lifted in the country. Wearing a mask in closed rooms or in local transport and the obligation to isolate yourself after infection are only recommended. Crime Minister Boris Johnson reiterated that civil servants must lead by example and lead the way in returning to their desks in government departments. In addition, the ministers have repeatedly emphasized how important this step is so that the city centers are busier again and the shops, restaurants and cafes located there do better business again. Also mentioned are the opportunities for cooperation, the exchange with colleagues and the importance of contacts for mental health. Representatives of the civil service, however, are not convinced of the advantages. Ministers should be concerned, uh, concerned with the results of public sector workers, not where their desks are, at the FDA Civil Servants Union. Productivity and performance are decisive, not presence in a ministry. It is typical that a reproachful letter is first made public instead of seeking dialogue and exchange with the employees and working together on a solution, complained a high-ranking official from one of the poorly rated offices. Observers warn that this pressure to be present could also make ministries more attractive as employers. A blanket approach that urges officials to be in the office most or all of the time is wrong, said Jordan Urban um, of the Institute for Government Think Tank. Urban referred to the competition for applicants from other sectors. When it comes to salaries, the public sector regularly finds it difficult to compete with private companies. Therefore, it has to make itself attractive by reflecting or even surpassing what other branches of the economy offer in other areas. And I understand this. We have the same problem here in Germany with the public sector. Flexibility around work locations was already emerging as an enduring phenomenon and one in which civil servants should not lag behind consultancies, insurers or others. In other words, if you want to attract the best applicants, you have to offer them attractive conditions that go beyond salary. Flexibility is increasingly important to employees, said Thomas Kessler, founder and CEO of LocaT an analysis company specializing in the use and utilization of uh, workplaces. 
he sees a shift in power from the employer to the employee. It is becoming increasingly common for employees to decide where and when they want to work. Anyone who is found to come, on the other hand, sees this as a vote of no confidence in themselves, he says. There is another problem in the British authorities. There have not been enough desks for all employees for several years. Between 2010 and 2019, the available office space was reduced by 30% in order to make better use of buildings that are still in use, but above all to save a lot of money. During this time, hybrid working and working from home was promoted as a tool to make public service more efficient, Urban said. Since then, the number of government employees has continued to rise. So anyone who wants to put pressure on civil servants to return to the ministries should not forget that there are no longer enough desks there. But thinking that far is nothing I would blame on Jacob Rees-Mogg ever. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.